Good morning to all. Myself, Nassim Kayyum, Assistant Professor in the Department of Engineering Sciences at AISSMS Institute of Information Technology. Today, uh, we are going to discuss about the applications of rank and cycle. So these are the different types of applications we have. One means a low grade waste heat recovery from stationary engines or on road vehicles. Basically, uh, applications of rank and cycles in the sense, uh, you know, in rank and cycle, we will be having a boiler, right? So, so for that boiler, we have to give a heat input. That heat input, we can be uh, given through this one. Through this one means, uh, uh, from the engines or auto vehicles, we will, we will be getting our uh, waste heat right from the exhaust. That heat can be given as the input source to the uh, evaporator or boiler. And uh, from the biomass combustion heat and from solar energy, from geothermal energy, from our, our industrial heat, which will be having a more temperature, which is uh, otherwise wasting to the atmosphere, that can be used as the heat input source to the operator or boiler. So now we'll be discussing, uh, I will be discussing only about uh, low grade waste heat recovery from the, especially I'm focusing on, in this topic, I'm focusing about stationary engines or on-road vehicles. So how low grade waste heat recovery from the engines can be applied to rank and cycle. That's what I'm going to discuss in my following, following slides. So this is the waste heat utilization in Honda car. You see, this is the, uh, cabin setter here. This is the engine and the evaporator or, uh, you know, a boiler or it can be called as a boiler or expander or a turbine and a generator and a high pressure water unit and a condenser. And of course, this is a radiator. This is the arrangement we have. And I will explain the different kind of uh, arrangements we have in auto -based. So this is the one kind of arrangement you see. Suppose uh, here uh, we have this is the engine setup. So this is the engine and uh, what you see. So what I told uh, from the engine, we will be getting waste exhaust, right? Uh, you know, exhaust gas is wasting into atmosphere. So that waste heat carries a lot of amount of heat. That heat can be used as the input source, I told, right? So that heat we are giving as a supply to the which one evaporator. So we are giving heat as the uh, heat input to the evaporator. And again, uh, in the operator, what is happening? Uh, this uh, uh, in the operator, the pumped water, it can be converted into steam. And again, that steam is expanded in a turbine and which from there, we are getting power output. And uh, of course, this is a common from expander again will be hanging on a condenser and then condenser to pump. This is one kind of arrangement. So another kind of arrangement we can see here. Uh, this one you see, and again engine, we are giving air and fuel as input to the engine and the engine will develop uh, some work and it will emit exhaust gases, which contains a lot of amount of heat. That heat we are using as the input source to the evaporator. And of course, pump is pumping the water. And here it converted into steam. And here it, it operates and the steam expands here power output. And here we are placing one recuperator here. To uh, again to recuperator means in the sense uh, it is a device which can uh, uh, which can you know which can take the waste heat. So here, uh, this steam, it may contain some amount of heat, that heat it, uh, it takes, and again, it gives back to the operator. So in this way, this is one kind of arrangement. And you know, another kind of arrangement we have, and again, this is the engine, and air fuel mixture is the input to the engine, and the engine will, of course, emit exhaust gases. And here, you see, uh, the uh, here we are pumping the water, which is directly connected to the engine setup. You see here, uh, this pump line is directly connected to engine. So it means it, it means that we are all we are, uh, we are, we are uh, apart from the uh, you know other cases here. Since the pump line is directly connected to engine, we are already supplying a hot water. So that means we are reducing the heat supply. 
that means it is somewhat efficient when compared to other ones again we are getting uh, uh, we are expanding into turbine and like that sir uh, in in condenser and uh, in, this is the one more case you see uh, and, and uh, again uh, air and fuel mixture will uh, as input to the engine after that uh, exhaust gases will uh, emit which contains a large amount of heat so in other cases uh, we are keeping radiator as a separate part and here we are connecting radiator also which is uh, which contains some amount of heat which can be used to preheat the incoming uh, uh, pump so which can reduce the pump work also so this is one kind of arrangement so this is another kind of arrangement which is installed uh, which is installed in bmw we can see here uh, of course this is a high high temperature evaporator and a high temperature expander and a condenser and a pump so this is a normal uh, this appliance is normal ranking cycle after that uh, our main focus is this one so we are extracting the waste heat from the engine and which is sending back to the operator here which is a high temperature evaporator so here it, it converts into steam and here expands and after that uh, high temperature expander we are connecting it to a another expander which is nothing but a low temperature expander this low temperature expander will work from the radiator so from radiator we are having some amount of heat right so that heat we are carrying out from the low temperature evaporator this low temperature evaporator will in turn connected to a low temperature expander so in that way this will work so this technology is installed in bmw so in that way we can uh, uh, recover or we can apply our uh, ranking cycle to waste heat recovery technology so finally if you want to conclude in ranking cycle a low cost working fluid can be used and uh, this cycle generates of about 90 percentage of electric power and uh, of course uh, but uh, for waste heat recovery it is not so efficient due to its maintenance cost why because it contains a lot of you know uh, boiler and turbine which are rotating parts which requires continuous uh, maintenance cost and the noise in operation of course and the presence of working fluid so therefore in order to uh, eliminate all this one here i am uh, uh, proposing a small thing which is nothing but a thermo electric generator so which is a uh, which contains uh, no rotating parts and which is silent in operation and it does not contain any working fluid so this may be used for the waste heat recovery in automobiles also so in future uh, we may discuss a detail about thermo electric generator what is its principle and how it works and how it can be applied to uh, automobiles thank you